Understanding, Return to Reality, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome to today's English learning video. Today, we'll explore the phrase, return to reality. This phrase is commonly used in everyday English, and understanding it can really enrich your language skills. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your conversations. Return to reality is a phrase that implies coming back to the normal, practical, or everyday life after being in a different, often more pleasant or fantastical situation. It's like waking up from a dream and facing the real world. This phrase is often used metaphorically to describe a shift from imagining or experiencing something unusual to dealing with the regular aspects of life. Let's look at some examples to understand how return to reality is used in different contexts. 1. After a vacation. After two weeks of vacation in Hawaii, it's time to return to reality and get back to work. 2. Daydreaming. I was daydreaming about winning the lottery, but then I had to return to reality and finish my chores. 3. Movies or books. The movie was so captivating that when it ended, I had to return to reality and remember I was in a cinema. Understanding synonyms can help you better grasp the concept. Here are a few. Get back to the grind. Refers to returning to regular, often tedious, daily work. Come back down to earth. Similar to, return to reality, it implies stopping daydreaming or fantasizing. Face the music, although slightly different. It also involves facing reality, often in the sense of dealing with consequences. In different cultures, this phrase may be used in various contexts like returning to work after a long break, coming back to daily life after a period of celebration, or even in the context of recovering from an illness or a difficult situation. We hope this video helped you understand the phrase, return to reality, and how it's used in different contexts. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about the ideas and cultures behind them. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master these nuances of English. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.